Well, good morning, everyone, or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this assembly, and welcome to uh, this week's assembly from uh, me. I am Tamsin, a vicar of St Mary Hornsey Rise. Uh, I'm in lockdown mode, so I got up today and forgot to put my dog collar on. Uh, anyway, we are thinking today about uh, the temptation of Jesus, but let's start with our greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. Uh, well, we're going to uh, watch uh, a brilliant animation by Saddleback Church in Australia telling the story of the temptation of Jesus. You might know it, but this is a brilliant telling of it. And then we're going to just spend a bit of time thinking and I'm going to set you some challenges and we're going to have a prayer and a song. So see you in a minute. Come and see. The Temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, now I'm coming up on one of these ladders. Oh, what time is it here? Oh. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Oh, what? For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. No. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. Such a good telling of the story. Now, I've got two things with me. One is this: in the they used to have uh, the Bible or the the uh, Old Testament part of the Bible was on scrolls. So I've got my scroll and I've got my stone uh, because we're going to tell think about this story. Um, you see, it's the Spirit of God that told Jesus to go into the desert straight after John had baptised him. And no one knew where Jesus was until he came back about six weeks later. I reckon he must have been quite thin and weak when he came out of the des desert. Just imagine 40 days and nights without food. That's real fasting. If you don't know what fasting is, find out and at the end of all that the devil came to tempt jesus and try to make him doubt that he was god's son he had there were stones in the desert if you're the son of god turn these stones into bread said the devil he knew that jesus was really hungry but jesus answered him by quoting some words from one of the books of moses which said man cannot live by bread alone but needs every word that God speaks. 
but the devil hadn't given up. Next, he said, if you're the son of God, throw yourself down from the temple in Jerusalem. Go on, the angels will take care that you're not hurt. Jesus knew that doing something dramatic like that might, might make people follow him, but that would be following him for the wrong reasons. He wasn't a wonder-working magician and he wasn't going to become one either. So Jesus quoted again from one of the books of Moses saying, It is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Well, you'd have thought the devil would have given up, but no, his voice came again. This time he said, if you kneel down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. Look. And Jesus was on a high mountain now and could see many kingdoms stretched out below him. But he said, go away. We should only worship and serve the Lord our God. And the devil left Jesus and some angels came to help him. So that is my temptation of Jesus's scroll finished. But it reminds me of the special prayer that we often use. I wonder if you can tell me what that special prayer is. Anyone guesses? Any guesses? I'm going to hope. Yes, it's the Lord's Prayer. And there's a line in the prayer that says, lead us not into temptations. And many Christians all over the world pray that prayer. It's a good job they wrote it down, hey? So let's uh, join together in the Lord's Prayer. And if you uh, want to, the words will be on the screen. But if you know the prayer um, that Jesus taught us, then do close your eyes and join with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, so we're going to sing. Uh, this is a song that I love. Uh, cast your burdens onto Jesus because he cares for you. Uh, and this is helped by Fiona uh, doing some brilliant actions. Um, and uh, so I hope you enjoy this song along with the gifts. And uh, I'll see you in a moment. Yes. Praise the Lord. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher, 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 higher. Higher, higher, lift up Jesus higher. Lower, 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 Satan, lower, 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 Satan, lower. Well, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your burdens. Unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Well, higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher. Well, higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher. Well, lower, 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 Satan, lower. Well, lower, 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 lower. Well, lower, 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 Satan, lower. Yes, well, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Well, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher, 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 
higher, higher, higher, higher, higher, higher, higher. Lift up Jesus higher. Oh, higher, 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 higher. Lift up Jesus higher. Well, well done for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that song. Um, we are going to finish up. I've got uh, your challenge for you. Make a scroll. To, you can make it so it goes that way, or you could make it so it you could make it so it rolls and folds up and unrolls that way. Make a scroll telling uh, your version of the story of the temptation of Jesus. And then also your teachers or and will there'll be a link to a couple of crosswords and there's uh, di some that have um, you can choose the, which one you want to do. One's probably a little bit harder than the others, but, do you know, there's a little bit of help at the bottom. Uh, they've all got the words in there. So in some ways you've got to just find the match. But anyway, what an amazing story that Jesus uh, could resist the devil. And so maybe this week, when you find yourself tempted, when you feel as though you're being called to do something that you don't think is right. Maybe stop, pause, maybe ask God for help, just as Jesus did. So, go in peace or be at home in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. See you all soon.